This is Baraka Andamani. They are pupils at Mlima Primary School. Baraka is in class 6 and Amani is in grade 4. At Mlima Primary School, there is a 4K club where Baraka and Amani are members. The club is guided by the 4K spirit, Kuungana, Kufanya, Kusaidia Kenya, which means coming together to act in order to help Kenya. They meet every Wednesday afternoon together with other club members who are drawn from different classes. The club's patron, Mrs. Lucia, has for the last one year been mentoring them on how to grow crops in their school garden. She has also been encouraging them to grow vegetables in their kitchen gardens at home so that they can have healthy foods for their growing bodies. Mrs. Lucia encourages them to grow different crops within the same space, a practice called intercropping. She says intercropping helps in ensuring that there are variety of crops, hence variety of nutrients from them. She also encourages them to keep domestic animals whose products, she says, will supplement the nutrients they get from the crops. While undertaking their farming practices, she encourages them to use methods that protect nature and have less damage to the natural resources around them. This include mulching, composting, use of biofertilizers, intercropping and green manures among others. She says this kind of farming is referred to as agroecology. Agroecology focuses on food production that makes the best use of nature's goods and services while not damaging these resources. One year after the 4K club was established, Mrs. Lucia's mentorship is bearing fruits. Baraka, Amani and their friends took her word seriously and established vegetable gardens in school and at their homes. The vegetables are now mature and being fed on. Baraka, Amani and their friends have healthier meals. The entire school feeds on vegetables from the 4K club garden. In the home gardens, Baraka and Amani have grown kales, cabbages, carrots, onions, traditional vegetables and fruit trees. The vegetables are mature and being fed on. On one portion of the farm, we have rare chicken, rabbits and goats. Chicken give them meat and eggs. Rabbits give them meat and goats, produce milk and meat. These are all very nutritious and supplement their daily meals. They eat some and their parents help them sell the surplus for pocket money. The animals waste produces manure which they use to grow crops in their school and home gardens. They do not use chemicals or fertilizers to grow their crops. They practice what Mrs. Lucia refers to as agroecology. Through the 4K Club's mentorship, they have transformed their school and homes into a big healthy community. Baraka, Amani and their friends are young agroecology champions. Besides practicing what they learn from the 4K club, they also teach their families and friends about agroecology. ISFA, through support of the Biovision Foundation for Ecological Development, is supporting schools to nurture young agroecology farmers. The school mentorship program leverages on the relaunch of 4K clubs to integrate agroecology and safe farming practices in schools. This will help in nurturing a generation of young farmers and reduce the current Kenya's average age of a farmer. The Kenyan Ministry of Agriculture places the average age of a farmer at 60. Through the school's program, ISFA hopes to mentor thousands of children and youth to practice farming at a young age. Let's join hands to nurture young farmers in Kenya.